Hello, so today's recipe is another Caroline Mealy Artist inspired um, apple pie. This one I had done a couple of years ago for Christmas because we always have apple pie at Christmas because me and my sister do not like Christmas pudding. So we always normally buy an apple pie until I come, ac come across this recipe and thought, oh, you know what, I'm going to give it a go. It looks too good not to. So um, I tried it one Christmas. Um, we loved it last year was even better um, and so I've only made it about I think it's about three times all in all because I made it for Boxing Day as well last year because it was just went down so quickly on Christmas um, so anyway for this for the pastry you're going to need plain flour golden caster sugar an egg white egg yolk one whole egg and some unsalted butter cold for the filling you're going to need of course Bramley apples, plain flour, cinnamon, caster sugar and you're going to need a nice pie dish. First we're going to put in our flour, then our cold butter. You can do this with your fingertips as well, in fact the last um, every time I've made this I've done it with my fingertips I've only just recently bought this blender so this is going to be first using this um, and your caster sugar and then you're just going to pulse that till you get fine bread crumbs So now I've got a fine bread crumbs, I'm going to add in the eggs, the whole egg and the egg yolk. There, we're going to mix this until it starts forming together. Is what we're looking for as you can see it's nice and soft okay so I'm going to bring this together with my hands and then I'm going to cover it in cling film and put it in the fridge for about 45 minutes make it into a nice ball Okay, then you're going to wrap it in cling film tightly and into the fridge it goes. So my pastry has been in the fridge for about an hour actually, I left it a little bit longer so I've just left it on the sidewalk to quickly do this part. So in a bowl you're going to add your caster sugar, your cinnamon. And about two tablespoons of flour, a little bit more. Give that all a quick mix. And then add your apples to that, get a really nice coating. Oh, I forgot to say by the way that I did chop the apples literally just before um, I got the pastry out of the fridge. I suppose you can do the chunks any size that you want. Oops. Make sure they're all completely coated and don't drop in the floor like I just did. So I'm going to lightly flour your side and then unwrap your pastry and take a third off. So that's going to be the top. Put that back in the fridge. 
and then now you're going to let's get the knife out of the way. Going to make it into a disc. Get it ready to roll out. Plenty of flour. Start rolling this out. Make sure you keep turning it as well so that it doesn't stick. I like to measure it against my dish so that should be fine. Then I'm going to pick it up with the rolling pin. And then drape it over. Feels good. Push it down slightly. And then take off your excess. Okay. So now we're going to add the apples in. The apple mixture. Don't worry if there's a little bit of a flour and that left over, that would be fine. Okay, time to roll out the second bit of pastry, which is obviously going to be the top. Okay, this over. Take off the excess again. Now with the egg white, I'm just going to give that a quick whisk. use that to seal the edges I'm going to pinch it Just to let you know, I made a little hole there. There was a bit of apple sticking out, but whatever, I'm just going to leave it alone. Okay. I'm going to put, well, that hole will, will help now. A couple of little air pockets. And the leftover pastry, just going to cut out some leaf shapes. This is something my dad taught me when I was younger. He showed me how to make a steak pie. And he showed me how to do the leaves then. And the way I pinched it around the edges was something my dad taught me too. So pull them up. I actually do have a leaf cutter, but you know what? I'd rather do it this way, to be honest. this recipe anyway okay so 
make your indents. Okay, so now you're going to use the egg white again to brush over the top. I've got my oven on gas mark five. And put your leaves on. Brush them a little bit too. And then you're going to sprinkle some caster sugar on top. All over. And then we're going to put this in the oven for 45 minutes and I'll show you what it looks like when it comes out. Here it is. It's been baking for about 40, 45 minutes maybe or just under 45 minutes. I've been keeping an eye on it. When it's cooled down enough, um, I will cut a slice open to show you what it looks like. As you can see, remember that little hole? It doesn't matter. So if the same thing happens to you, don't worry about it. That, there we go, I've cut a slice. This is what it looks like inside. I've added ice cream to it. Um, but yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. The inside is nice and thick. It's not runny. So I'd love it if you do give it a go. Let me know what you think. Thank you Caroline for showing me this recipe. Um, you can obviously put cream with it. I'm going to be a bit of a devil and I'm going to have a little bit as well. There we go. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.